you guys all voted yes to a vacation vlog so I'm gonna bring it to you guys in today's video if you don't know we went to North Carolina and then down to Florida all in one vacation so it was a long vacation but this video I'm just sharing with you guys our RV trip down to Florida where we spent about a week at the beach and then another week and a half at Disney All right, to kick off the vlog, I'm gonna give you guys a really quick tour of the RV. This is my in-laws RV. We love vacationing in this thing. It is the best way to travel. There's an awning that comes out. There's an outdoor rug, there's string lights, a built-in outdoor TV. So it's really cool and cozy at night. Side note, me and my husband are definitely thinking about getting our own RV in the near future. I'm so excited to start looking. We already kind of have an idea of what we want. Okay guys, so let's jump to the inside of the RV and in case you guys are wondering, they do not live in this RV full time. This is strictly just for vacation, so keep that in mind whenever I'm showing you guys how things are organized throughout the RV. But as you can see, we have this little tan, brown, neutral vibe going on in here. I am standing right here by the front door and you have the driver's seat. They have their little dog bed right there in the middle and a air purifier and then you have all these windows which all the windows have shades. Obviously you're going to need that when you get to your RV resort to block the sun and just to have some privacy. Above that we have all of these cabinets and in these cabinets on this trip we're keeping all of our chips and cereal in here. We're definitely not eating healthy on vacation and like I said it sleeps 10 so this up here is a bed. And you press a little button and it comes down and typically my kids will sleep up here. It's a full size bed, a little safety net up there just in case and a little ladder but yeah and so this couch right here pulls out into a full size bed and this is really comfortable as well we actually ended up getting a blow up mattress to put on top of this for storage above the couch and we just have more snacks some paper plates extra bowls and plastic utensils and then you come around to the table so this turns into a bed and underneath the seats is more storage so extra drinks waters gatorades margarita mix bedding all of that stuff goes under here and they're super easy to just lift up and get what you need out of there next you'll see the community tv and then you're going to come around to the kitchen so the kitchen has a full-size microwave and a huge refrigerator a gas oven and a gas stove the stove is covered up right now for more countertop space and then we can do the same thing with the sink so we'll take these pieces and put them over the sink so if you're prepping anything you have more countertop space then we have just our toaster our frother our keurig and our air fryer so we're definitely ready to go and since we We definitely prefer my mother-in-law's cooking, so she's been cooking for weeks, so she's been pre-chopping fruit and freezing meals. Um, she made this huge thing of ziti, we have lots of jambalaya, some marinated chicken, ribs, meatballs, and then of course our freezer was fully stocked. <laughs> Then just past the kitchen, you'll notice a uh, what looks like a closet, but they're actually twin bunk beds. Each bed has their own window, their own TV, and then they have a little curtain thing that can go across for privacy. Then right across from the bunk beds, you have this little control panel and a half bath. And this is actually bigger than your standard airplane bathroom. Then we have another air purifier on the floor and this is the master this is a queen size bed there's storage up above then they have these little built-in nightstands with storage there's also storage underneath the bed and then storage all around their tv then on the other side of their bed is a full-size bathroom um, toilet sink with a little bit of countertop space lots of storage open shelving and a large shower Underneath inventory, so each one is a door. So that's the rear storage tanks, the shore power, the rear wheel, your water maintenance, small pass-through, large pass-through, and then you got the middle area of each pass-through. Then you come on the passenger side, you got the small rear storage, which has just got tools and the air compressor, your propane tank access, your rear wheels here, 
They got your large storage, small pass through, and large pass through. But there's an inventory of everything down there, so instead of having to ramble through all the doors, you can just look on here and see where stuff is. So I decided to do a voiceover for the majority of this vlog just because of the sound is kind of bad especially on the RV with everybody there and the air conditioner running and we're going down the road so yeah I'm doing a voiceover but we are stopping for lunch that's what I'm doing now I'm preparing everybody some lunch my mother-in-law makes homemade sloppy joe so we kept it simple with some chips on the side and then right as we pulled off all the adults filled their yeti cups up with some coffee so we're almost there. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. So we're staying in Florida for about two and a half weeks and we're staying in two different RV parks, two different cities. The first one was right outside of Daytona and we are staying right on the beach. And this is our lot. So every time we come off the RV and we look up, we are literally at the beach and it was so relaxing. It felt like we were on a private beach or a private island. At night when you're in bed, you can hear the waves crashing and it was just so nice. Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again. After a long day of traveling, we definitely weren't putting anything on the grill, so we dug into some baked ziti and we gathered around and watched the new Disney movie, Luca. Comment down below if you've seen this movie. It is so good. Strangers again. I thought we'd never fall. Could have tried much harder. All we have are scars. You said we'd get so high. Since the beach portion of our vacation was total relaxation, I didn't have a lot to film for you guys. I am not good at filming in the moment, but we did a lot of just hanging out at the beach. Um, we were chasing around crabs, collecting seashells, chatting with neighbors, and just enjoying the RV park. After a week of staying at the beach, we headed down to Orlando for our next RV resort and of course we went to Disney World. A lot of you guys guessed it right. Me, my husband and kids are Disney freaks. We love Disney World and of course since we're taking the RV, we stayed at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. If you're watching this and you have an RV and you're thinking about going, I definitely say do it. If you don't have an RV but you're interested in staying on the property, they have a million log cabins so you guys definitely can rent one of those out for you and your family or you can pitch a tent and do some real camping. So when you first get there, you get a map of the entire RV resort and you're gonna feel like you're in a different world because this resort is the biggest one I've ever seen. There's no way you can just walk the whole resort. They also give you a list of activities that go on daily, so there's definitely a lot of stuff to do. We made it to our resort and here is our lot. It's really clean. They make sure to spray off everything beforehand. So we have some gravel here, we have our hose, our hookups, and then we have a coffee coffee table. We have a picnic table over here, but I love it because everybody gets their own privacy. So we get lots of trees and lots of shade. And then they're coming around now with the RV. I'm just gonna back it in.
the resort is so big you have to get a golf cart so we're probably gonna get one or two and that's why we're parking the Jeep over there in the shade so we'll have space for our golf carts and we still have to put our slides out. So we had a couple of last minute things to pick up for our cookout tonight. So we took the golf carts down to the outpost and the outpost is one of two of their little shops that they have on the resort. And they just have everything you could possibly think of. Anything that you may have forgotten or ran out of. Um, they have medicine, baby products, um, frozen foods, little quick meals, lots of souvenirs, blankets, anything you might need. Since we're on a really secure resort, you won't see a lot of random cars driving in and out. And on these roads, the only things you'll see on these roads are the Disney buses that come and pick you up to take you to the parks and golf carts. A lot of people bring their own golf carts or you can just rent the golf carts there. And it's just easier to get around the resort in a golf cart. A lot of the roads here are for golf carts only and they have little parking lots for golf carts. They also have a ton of bike trails. Um, they have tennis courts, volleyball courts, basketball courts, and a lot of playgrounds. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool But if I fall, I will get up again I can go on and on about all the things you can do on this resort. You can go horseback riding, you can take archery classes, um, you can also sign up for a lot of arts and crafts things that the kids can do, and there was also a lot of wildlife on the resort, which was really cute. I also took the golf cart up to the bathhouse and laundry house. There's a million of them on the resort, but this is the one closest to us. And it was so clean in there. It was very empty and very quiet and it smelled so good. <laughs> So I'm not exactly sure how many swimming pools are on the property, but this was the one closest to us. It had a huge slide and a really cool place for the kids to play. And then every night they do a campfire sing along with Chip and Dale, where you can roast marshmallows, make s'mores, eat snacks, and they show an outdoor movie every single night. And this night we actually watched Moana. It was so much fun. So bright and early the next day we took the Disney bus to Magic Kingdom and we made sure Magic Kingdom was going to be our first park just because it is the busiest and the largest and we definitely have a day of rest scheduled after this park. So after our day of rest we have Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and then Animal Kingdom and then from here on out for the rest of this video I'm just going to be showing you guys some clips of all four parks because I told you guys earlier I am not good at capturing in the moment 
video so I'm gonna show you guys the clips that I do have I hope you enjoyed it if you did leave it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one
trees that got were civilized Be on our separate ways as we fade into gray But I still miss the way 